Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial of the Boho series. So today we're going to be designing this poster here. So let's just get started. First let's start with a new, new document, 1700, 2400 and just press create. So there is a fun thing that's happening while I'm designing these posters is, oh sorry it's not these ones, um, I'm starting developing like a voice. Of course I'm following a style that already exists but as I'm doing more and more and like you know this poster you see here, it looks very simple and I'm gonna explain how to do it in like in less than 10 minutes for sure. But it takes me like hours to, achieve, to arrive to a point where I'm actually happy. And because I'm actually exploring this style while I'm teaching you this style as well, I'm actually learning about this style and about how I like to interpret this style. Because in the first two tutorials I actually follow really like, I follow a few reference and then I try to be inside of that like reference world. I didn't put much of my voice in those posters in the beginning and now I'm developing like I'm, I'm more comfortable in the style so I actually started to put a little, bit of, a little bit more of my voice and even my style I really like these like 3D perspectives. I think that's the beauty of design it's just like you can just get the reference and then you actually almost copy the reference but then with time as you get more and more comfortable doing that design on that style you actually start to increment your own personality into it and become something new. That's that's the magic. So yeah, let's just go back to design this poster. And cool. So the first thing, let's just get that poster here just for reference. Uh, the first thing we want to do is actually design this, uh, this leaves here. So I designed some leaves in the first uh, episode of this series, but I, do, I did them pretty simple, they are like pretty straightforward to do. This one's a little bit, a little bit more organic and a little bit more unique. So we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you, show you again how to do it. So the first thing we need to do, just get this line, line segment tool here and make it a really nice line. Let's apply a stroke into it. Perfect, let's make it three points, four points. And on this stroke, actually, we're going to do it's we're going to use our where is it? I can't find it. Is a shape builder tool? No, it's a width tool. So we do with with if width tool, we're going to actually change this stroke a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit more interesting, not just a simple leaf. This leaf will be a little bit more organic and we're going to make it very, very unique in terms of, um, in terms of design. Let's just select this shape tool here again. See where is it? I think it's this one here. Gonna just make it like that. Perfect. So this will be like the leaf of the tail kale thing that's going to happen. I'm going to make leave this here, there, there, and then I'm going to make a new one here, a longer one, and I'm going to make it three now maybe a little bit more actually eight perfect i'm gonna make it on the middle and then we're gonna do the same thing with the width tool but this time i don't need it very thick so i'm just going to make it a little bit of variation so we actually have not a very organic uh, like structure and here as well we just don't want it to be like a really straight line. We want this to be a little bit more organic. And then maybe here we just make it tender. Perfect. Something like this. Next, let's just connect these together. And let's select them both. Actually, just this one. And then make a copy. Put it up here. Scale it down a little bit. Something like this. Let's select them both, go to object and export appearance. Perfect. Now let's just select them both again, go to object and then blend and then make. Let's make a really nice blend and maybe just adjust the blend a little bit. Specified steps. I think you can put a little bit more steps there. Maybe I'm going to just rotate that blend here. Just going to select this one and then I'm going to make a little rotation. See. If it makes a nice difference, maybe I will actually decrease the number of steps to six, something like this. Perfect. 
so yeah we're gonna leave it like this maybe we're gonna make this actually a little bit different we're gonna scale it down and up like that try to make it as more as interesting as we can perfect let's select it again let's go to object and expand next thing we need to go, uh, go to edit copy and edit paste in place I just drag it and then right click transform and reflect reflect vertically perfect let's just drag it here nice let's just zoom in just be sure it's connecting the right way and in the right place perfect let's just scale it down a little bit maybe take one of these leaves here and make the top leaf on the middle and let's select all, all of them and then go to window and find pathfinder and just unite them like this perfect now let's just right click and go to simplify here on simplify we're going to reduce like as many points as we can we don't need that many let's just select this Actually, we need to expand again. I think there is something there. It needs to connect. Yeah. Perfect. So we have our main um, shape that will be our, the shape of our brush. Let's just make the brush now. Let's go to Window and find the brushes. And then just drag and drop this here. Make it an art brush. Press OK. Perfect here as well. Perfect. So we have our brush ready. Let's just leave this here on the side. We don't need it anymore. Just leave it for reference. Let's just scale it down a little bit and leave it for reference here. Nice. And let's just start to design our, our composition. First thing, let's go to the ellipse tool. Make a really nice ellipse here. Delete the top. And then go actually get some colors. Let's go to Window, Swatches Library, and Impressionism. So let's just use these colors here. I'm gonna make this a nice blue. Where is that nice blue that I used? Perfect. And then I'm gonna duplicate this. Actually, no, for first I'm gonna go back to the ellipse tool and then make a really nice ellipse again, like an oval one now, to make like the top of the pot, make it black. Select this, holding alt, I'm gonna, gonna duplicate this, gonna scale it up, rotate it a little bit. Change the color to a nice orange. Select these two, arrange, bring to the front. It's just like this, perfect. Let's make a nice background solid as well, rectangle two. Get a nice background happening here, like something light. Yeah, this is the right one. And arrange, send to the back. And then just gonna select this. Now using our new brush that we just created, we're gonna get the brush tool here, paint brush, and let's just draw a really nice, actually this direction, a really nice curve. Just again, maybe not too, too crazy. And let's just select it and actually reduce the size here to 0 of 25. Let's start with that, maybe 0 25 will be all right. Yeah. So as you can see, actually already happening here, we have our first brush. And let's make another one that goes more or less like, no, it don't have, it's not going to happen like that. Something like this. Perfect. Next thing, let's just select them both. Actually, I'm going to play a little bit with this one before I actually expand it. Let's just simplify it a little bit. Perfect. And then I need to just play a little bit with this curve. So I'll make it a little bit more interesting that with what it is right now. Simplify this one as well. Make it more interesting. Something like this. It's so amazing. Like you can create a brush and then actually control the entire artwork with a brush. I think it's like when I discovered how to do this, I was just like, oh my God. I just gonna save so much time and I actually use it for a lot of things in my in my work. Perfect. I'm gonna just scale this down a little bit. 
actually no, before I scale, I actually need to select these two, two brushes here and need to transform them into shapes. So we're gonna select them and then go to expand appearance. Perfect, and then again, right click and simplify and just reduce the points as well. again, not too much, so it doesn't lose too much definition. Perfect, and now we can select all of them, right click, group them, and then scale it down. And then add a little bit of a sander, of a sander, <laughs> sand there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually, it's quite late right now, and I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to record this tomorrow. So I'm doing it today and probably a really bit tired and my voice is probably not the best one for a, for a video tutorial, but I really want to get this done before I go to sleep. And perfect. And next we just had these letters here, these words. And let's go, let's go right. Balance. I think I used a font from Adobe. You can download it, the, the font there. It's, uh, if you have the Adobe Suite, it is, is free. I think it's Guest. Uh, I can't remember the name. Oh, Questa. Questa. Questa Grande. It's really beautiful font for this style. Just make it like this. And, and yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you, let's just delete this old one. I don't need it anymore. So yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one. And subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with your friends and family. And, and then that's it. I'll see you in the next one.